Got one question here from Jenny. Any differences in tests administered in the U.S. and those outside the U.S.? Yeah, I got another one also about the Asia test. Is there any difference between overseas and North America? Um, you know, the, as your questioner asks, I assume there wouldn't be any, but still wanted to ask someone with more expertise just to be sure. Yeah, great question. I get this one a lot. It turns out that there is a difference in that it's not the same test form. So if you get this, you know, circle game about monkeys, uh, someone in Asia might get a pure sequencing game about clowns. And though, you, know, you might get their, yours and they get theirs and there's no overlap. That's the point. There's no overlap. So the people who are taking the test overseas a month from now or a week from now, whatever it is, or they're taking the Sabbath observers test, it's not as if they're going to get advanced knowledge on the internet from everyone taking it now. And everyone taking it on your test date. So don't worry, nothing unfair is happening here. The test is, is exactly the same in nature in that it's meant to be of equal difficulty. They're also going to have one logic games, uh, one reading comp, two LRs and the experimental. And they'll also have the 35 minute constraint, but everything else will be pretty much the same. As a bit of LSAT trivia, uh, the LSAT India exam is a little bit different in that that's a test administered for law as an undergrad level degree. Whereas in North America, the law is, and the LSAT is used as a graduate level degree and graduate level education experience. So for that reason, the LSAT India only has four answer choices per question. Whereas everyone else for the grad level has five answer choices per question. So if you ever come across LSAT India practice, practice exams, you might notice that small difference, but that's pretty much it. LSAC, one reason they don't release every test administered is because they want to save some exams, some test forms to use for overseas administrations and to use for Sabbath, Sabbath observers or if something goes wrong due to the weather and they have to delay by a few weeks. So that's pretty much the, the deal on that. There's no benefit to taking it one place or another. It really just depends ultimately on which is the best test center for you. I've seen you know, what the LSAT India test centers look like. And I guess because India is a fairly populous country and a lot of their LSATs are probably administered in major cities like New Delhi, that you know, their test centers are not the most comfortable. I saw one photo where they seemed pretty crammed and small desks very close together. And so maybe certain test centers in other big cities could be just as crowded and maybe not the nicest brand new modern facilities. So for you know, I know a lot of students take the LSAT in places like Beijing, for example, or, or in Rome. And I've heard reports that those test centers might not be the nicest. So do your research, Google around a bit. Uh, I'm here in New York and New York Law School is a pretty great test center. And so there is an advantage to taking the LSAT when your test center is going to be relatively nicer. But that's pretty much the deal on that.